think someone that's been really influential in my life and helping me come towards engineering has been has been my mum. Um, she always was the opinion that there's that there's nothing that women can't do and there's absolutely no reason not to become an engineer. She should have really been an engineer. <laughs> so that's what I'm, I'm kind of doing it now. But for me as well, she instilled that passion in it. Her name is Emily uh, Roblin. Um, she's American and she had to took over the project to build the broken bridge. So just as myself, she ne never had any intentions of becoming an engineer. But she just proved how women can have the mindset, be strong and determined to do great things. So I think Beatrix Schilling is definitely my most admired woman. Um, she was one of the original members of the Women's Engineering Society. Um, and through them, she was able to fund her degree in engineering. Um, she's the reason why the Spitfires um, did so well in aerial combat and due to her design of a diaphragm uh, to stop them overfueling and stalling in a dive. The Hedy Lama um, is very interesting because uh, she was not only an inventor, she was also an actress, a very pretty actress as well. She developed um, a spectrum, spread spectrum technology that we use for wireless communication. And she was so underestimated by her colleagues and all the technology uh, people from that time. So that's, that's my message actually for any women interested in being an engineer. You don't have to give up on your makeup. You don't have to give up and other things that you are interested. And you can be a groundbreaking engineer. <laughs>